Huh? Yeah, and and the Bible. Okay. Yeah, and what about uh, this? This on good. How do you put this on? Yeah. And uh, before we do that, I just I do have some questions for you. I've been asking Muslims some some questions. No, this uh, uh, so we continue off the. No, I just want to ask you some questions. Uh, maybe take, take ten minutes or something. Oh, I'm not doing ten minutes question. No, no, I just have some questions to ask you. So basically, um, let me find. One. Maybe you might be able to give me an informed answer. No, no, if it's top of my head, I won't be able to do it. If it's what? If it's off the top of the head, it won't be able to do it. Well, I'll ask you then. Yeah, what is it about? Tell me. Not today. So, okay. It's all of your arguments, yeah? No, I have like references because people don't like discussions without references. So, yeah. Well, ask me off the top of the head then, isn't it? Okay. So, obviously you speak Arabic, I just wanted to get to un your understanding, is, uh, read the Arabic. Yeah, yeah, So what is your understanding of that verse? So, uh, it says, uh, oh Zakaria, yeah. we give you the glad tidings of Ghulam, like a boy, and his name is Yahya, and we had not given unto you of humanity from before this particular name. Okay, so what the reason the why I ask that, yeah. so if you go to Al Jalalain, mm -hmm. they also say mm -hmm. uh, this means that no one had this name before him. Yeah. That's if, Allah. Ibn yeah. Jarir, yeah. and they said uh, that is again no one with this name. Mm -hmm. So you're saying no one had that name before? No, no, the wording is quite clear. It's not that I said no one had that name before. And this is a, this is an old age Christian argument with the church. It says, Inna nubeshiruka. Okay. That noon there is saying that we give you glad tidings, yeah, of a boy that we will name him Yahya. This reference to Allah giving the name of that child, that Ghulam, his okay. name Yahya. So we don't have a person that, that we know that Allah has named, yeah, yeah, in particular. Okay, so that question would be why would they... And even, even if you want to argue all about the translation, John, it's, a, it's not nothing to do with yeah, yeah. 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 But one then, would have to argue, oh, where's this word yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, the name? Well, 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 this is the thing. So the question would be why would they, obviously just translate by Muslim, why would they put... Because you're basically saying their translation is incorrect. No, one exists. Well, they're saying sure. this means that no one has... No, no, they don't see, this is a written book of apologetic. You're not trying to know that, yeah? yeah? So, for example, when you read the Bible in the beginning was the word or was it? That's not written for scientists, you know that. Okay. But you can have a apologist who, uh, who writes it for, for uh, 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 a polemic and apologetic, and he can deal with that. Yeah. So it's the same thing. So now when you pass this grammatically, you find this, and you're going to ask anyone that moon is the beginning, for example, na'lamu, it means that we do something. Right. So, but then you're saying this is an incorrect translation. No, because, it's, a, it's not as precise to answering what you're trying to uh, make. Yeah. What's your claim? You're saying so claim I'm now saying they is that the name, John, the name Yahya was given by God to someone before? Yes. Okay, no, 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 sure. no, no, no. Sorry. I'm saying from these two, they're saying no one had that name. That, that God gave. Well, that's not what they, we give you best. Well, that's not what they say, though. So they uh, but say, I'm telling you, this is the Arabic. You could right. ask any, anyone there that is the noon there is reference to Allah. Okay. Now we are giving you glad tidings. Okay, so you're saying this is a mistranslation? No, I'm not saying that. Well, okay, no. I'm, I'm okay. saying the way this English look. Do you know yes. any other language? Do you know any other language? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Sorry. Do you know there are some things in language that don't get translated? Like it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. Can you translate that in your mother tongue or if you have another language? Can you translate that? No, it's called idiosyncratic. There's right. something you can't. So you're saying this is an in idiosyncratic? I, I'm saying there are features that are, cannot be translated later so, like that. So you're saying they cannot translate. Allah said we have not given this name to anyone before. No, I, I, they have chosen to translate it like a... Sorry, can I read it? Yeah. So they're chosen to translate Because it. all they have to do is add Allah where's, has where's not assigned this name to anyone. What's the translation? There, it says, Oh Zakiria, very we have given you, we have given you the glad tidings of, glad tidings of a son yeah. whose name will be Yahya. There yeah. you go. So, but, but there's I'm, no problem with that. Yeah, but I'm saying. But it says it. That, mean, that right. translation has the meaning. Right. But I'm saying, when we go to the tafsir, obviously that's where we get the understanding. 
But I'm saying, you're trying to say... But what's your argument? Well, I'm just trying to say, they say no one has... Say your argument, say your argument, well, and then I, we can... We so can my, visit my the, point is... Here he's saying clearly court, that Allah is given the, you know... Right. Yeah. But according, I'm saying, and I'm disputing that because my point is. No, you can't we, disagree. But you don't know Arabic. But I'm saying this is not translated. You're saying I don't know Arabic. So I'm saying when we want to understand something, we go to the tafsir. No. No. That's serious for the the explanation of the meaning or something. Exactly. But the words, no. Right. So I'm saying. So here the, they say the meaning. Of this text. Trust so me, trust me, uh, paper boy. Right. Right. that noon yes. is reference to Allah. Right. Even the so, yeah, but trust I, me on this one. But they, my point is. Does your okay. argument hinge on this or something? Of course. Yeah, this is the problem. Right. And that's so why I, you seem stuck on it. But yeah, I'm telling because, you, yeah, because I'm, I'm telling saying, you, it's not going to work. That that particular one, yeah, it won't be able to work. Yeah, but I'm your saying. argument won't work. But the whole point is, you're saying that is an idiosyncratic term. No, I'm saying they've chosen. Look, hey, even if you read this, we give you the glad tidings of the son whose name will be Yahya. We yeah. give you the glad tidings. Yeah, we give you yes, the name. We give you the right. name. Exactly, you just said it. There yeah, you go. we give you the good news. So the, the argument is there. It doesn't make sense, your argument. Of course it we does. We give you the name. So I'm you saying, just said that. All right. So, so Allah is the one who right. gives the name. So you're, so you're saying Allah gives the name? Yes. Right? So in terms of then the verse in context has a meaning. Right? Because I'm saying, okay, Read, okay, read the explanation. Uh, so we, so this is, uh, yes, the, this is Ibn Kathir, yeah? We have yeah. given the name to none before, so exactly as I just said, yeah? Yeah. Qadad ibn Jurayr no, no, ibn Zayd said... No, you said it incorrectly. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sure. No, no, yeah, I was thinking that the wrong part. This means that no one had this name before him. Right. Yes. So where does it say, this means we had, we had given the name? It says it in the no. beginning, we have given that name to none before him. Right. And then the explanation is what? I'm saying, look, the better no, Okay, just skip it, it just sounds sticky. It uh, it's cool. Go to your, let's just go into the discussion. Yeah. Because it says that I, even I, in okay, your opinion. That's fine, we'll skip the sign. Yeah, I have one other Because my question is, in terms of Allah, yeah. is that the divine name of God? Or is it a derived name? What is it really? So some say it's mushtaq from two words being al ila, which right. means uh, the God. Ultimately, right. it means the same thing. Um, some say no, Allah in and of itself is the name of Allah. Because you know, within Christianity, obviously we use the phrase Jehovah. Okay. As but where do you name. get the noun, for the vowels for Jehovah to pronounce? Jehovah. We get that from the Trinity. But they don't have vowels. The word for yeah. God oh, is so, lost. So the vowels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The vowels. It's taken the vowels from the word Adonai. Adonai. Yeah, the, the exactly. word. Well, yeah, it was so you don't know how to pronounce it. Right, but we still know the, the consonant. The consonant, the yes, Which, but it's impossible to pronounce that that's, word that's right. without the vowel. But that's, that's fine, but we still know, for example, if everyone knew your name, Hamza, and everyone forgot how to use your name, but you still had to spell it. You would say, hey, hey, hey. you can have Himza, no, Himzu, but what Himzi. I'm, but what I'm saying is, Do you see as, what I'm saying? Yeah, you won't I'm, have the pronunciation. Yeah, but if we have the consonantal of your name, we may not know how to pronounce it, but we still know what your name is ascribed to. If we had the H -M -Z. You, yeah, you have the right. H M Z. Right. Yeah. So that so that would still denote your name, even though we don't know how to pronounce, pronounce it. So you right. don't know what yes. the name is. So I'm because saying, okay. M Z wouldn't be my name. If someone yeah. said, Yo, M Z, yeah. that wouldn't be my name. Yeah, of course. Someone but, said Pepper Boy, right. that would be wrong. Because the consonant is Yeah, the and that's why. Right. But as long as we have the consonant, my, my question is this. We know what the tetragrammatron represents God's name. So whether we know how to pronounce it or not, we know the tetragrammaton, that's what it's called. It's yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Is, that represents itself God's divine name, even if we don't know how to pronounce it. Or well, what good is it if you don't know how to pronounce it? Because my question is... Like, is it, uh, it's so, like me but, saying, I know this is God's name, right. but I can't pronounce but it. But my question is, is that divine, was that divine, do you as a Muslim accept the tetragrammaton? Was the divine name revealed to it, Moses? It, it, it may have been. It simply, there's nothing for us to do. Like, where would we get this evidence? How would we know what Moses called God and Jesus in, in accordance to the, the Bible? Okay, because this is what I'm trying to say. So obviously between Christianity and Islam. Because we don't believe, ultimately, the Prophet says we don't believe the Bible to be a preserved book. Right. And even the Hebrew uh, scriptures, we know they were originally in Hebrew. Okay. They lost them and then they were really written in Greek. In fact, every statement, I'm sure you know this, that Jesus speaks of in the New Testament refers not to the Hebrew, 
but it refers to the Greek, which is strange, right? Because Jesus wouldn't have been a Greek speaking person, as you want to say. He would have spoke Hebrew. But every time he says, You have heard it written, and you know, but I say unto you. Every time Jesus quotes, it's interesting, isn't it? But we don't have a problem with that. Because, but he, example, he doesn't quote Hebrew, he quotes Greek. But then he would never have spoken Greek. Yeah, but. We get it? No, 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 but in terms of uh, first century Israel, people would have. We don't know, you can't say for the, the definitive that he wouldn't have known Greek. We would have known Aramaic was the main language, but because Greek was the lingua franca at the time, there's a high probability people would have known, okay. for example, because they used to read from the Septuagint yeah, as well. With that. So I there's no. But you know, in off the back of the Maccabees and the revolt and everything that took place at that time, what, uh, and they lost their tongue language of Hebrew, yes. why would Jesus then be speaking in Greek of uh, Hebrew? Language? I think about it, they just thought. So that, they why fought the Greeks. You know, Greek. you know the story of the Maccabees. Right? Yeah, yeah. They just fought the Greeks because of this Hellenization that was taking place over them. Yeah. They just fought the Greeks because of this. Yeah, it's just a thought. So now, why would Jesus be using the very tongue that those uh, Jews before him fought against? Because everyone else was. So your your argument, no, no. He, your, he yeah, but your, speaking your argument is based on a presupposition <laughs> that if they have some sort of animosity, well, sir, what do you think is more likely? So I'm asking, do you reckon he'll be speaking we, Hebrew we, to his people? We, we, Remember, he didn't. We can go by. Data. We can only go by even what scholars will say. They'll say he's most likely. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Yeah, keep that thought there. Three seconds. One. Like, oh, so, so, and I'll get to my point. And, uh, no, no, but you've asked those questions now. Uh, yeah, I just get to my point because I did that. Oh, okay, go on, yeah, sorry, sorry. And just to go. Go! So That's the name yeah. now, you're talking so, about the name. So obviously this is from Islam Web, big guys in Saudi or whatever. So someone Islam asked Web, them, I don't think this is... It's some this committee is or something, yeah. I can't remember. I, oh. So they said, what is the true name of Allah? Is it Yahweh or what? So they said the real name of of God is Allah. This is the name that he named himself okay. in this reveal. Yeah, I'm going to okay. Right. So the reason why I asked this and about the the um the tetragrammaton, because mm. it's when you look at Arabic names, yeah, yeah. you have prophets that are named okay. after Jehovah. Yeah. Obviously I'm going to just say the angle size. What the question would be Elijah's in the Quran. Um, Yahya would be Yohanan in Hebrew. No, no Yahya would be. Y yeah, 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 it's John the Baptist. So uh, yeah, be... but it wouldn't be John the Son. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, I don't think yeah. that's right. I don't think that's right. Yeah. But then, go on, go on, go on, go on. And then, the obviously, you have uh, mm -hmm. Zachariah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm essentially yeah. asking. So, you. so, 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 um, what I was reading anyway, you know, we have names of the angels like Jibrail and Mithrail and stuff like that. This is IEL actually, the ending. Yeah, interesting. It means, yeah, it actually refers to God. But some of the Mufassirin, the explanations, uh, explainers of the Quran, they actually say, yeah, that this ending comes from Syriac, which is a Semitic language, very closely related to Aramaic, Syriac, uh, Hebrew, and Arabic. Yeah, so it doesn't say that this is a Hebrew word. Well, even from scholars, uh, we would know these names, and I'm not focusing on the L. But the, for example, Yochanan, like if you ask a Jewish person what this means, yeah. they will tell you what yeah, the name Yeah, but could means. be very well adopted into From their what? language. From Syriac, Syriac into Hebrew. No. Because this is, this is what I'm saying. Some of yeah. the Mufassari that I read, but, yeah, but you wouldn't find, regards, Yeah, but you wouldn't yeah. find any scholar, like, uh, any scholar, Western scholar, that would affirm what you're saying. So maybe... Oh, I've not checked. Have you checked that? I've not checked. There's no one that would say... That would say that the original of these names could be Syriac. You would have to provide that. I mean, go on, yeah. go, 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 so, make your argument. So yeah. essentially my point is, would be, obviously I'm going to use an anglicised Jehovah, yeah. and Christians would say that was the name. But how do you know that this is the name if you can't say the vowel? No, but, but Jehovah, just, yeah. for, just for clarifying, saying, yeah, Jehovah okay, for, is an important right, for vowel from a word right. other than itself. But, for but those vowels, you don't know where you're going for. Just for simplicity's sake, then, I'll say the tetragrammaton. Instead of saying Jehovah. But even if you say Tetra, it means nothing. Yeah, you of can't course. It. it doesn't. The pronunciation is not important. Of course it is. Because, no. Because, for example, if we know this is the construct of God's name, the consonant, we okay, know. Your name is what? Because your, 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 your yeah. name is paper. But if I take away the A and the right. E in paper, someone would say, look at the, look at the consonants of right. this. And say no, it's not paper boy, it's pepper boy. But again, do you understand the difference? But that's irrelevant. And this, I'll no, tell you why. Not, yeah, I'll, 
because in Arabic or any of the Semitic languages, these short vowels, Fatah the Matasla, are very important in right. pronunciation. If you don't know these uh, vowels, you cannot pronounce but, the word. But this is my point. That's what I'm saying. I'll tell you what. So you say Jehovah, but you have to ask yeah, them, where you get Yeah, but from? that's what I'm saying. We can negate the word for simplicity, Jehovah. But we know that your 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 day badly represents What's the cup. That's the letter, your day badly. That's in Hebrew. Well, you, no, so you the can, tetragrammaton. You can't say it, you cannot pronounce that without But a vowel. I'm not making that point because that, we're going around the circle. So for simplicity, I will say everyone knows this is the representation of God's name. In the letters, you can use yes, the, the letters. letters. Okay, no problem. That's why. Um, uh, that's what you lot believe. Yeah, yeah that's why Jewish people say Hashem. Yeah. That means their name. Yeah. So it always represents. Because you're so holy, they yeah. could not pronounce right. the name. So that's what and I'm they saying. eventually forgot the name. Right. This is what the. So, what I'm so that's why I'm saying, let's forget the name Jehovah. We still have the tetragrammaton in the letters. Okay. So we know this represents God's for name. For you, yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying. You're saying for us. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm asking what is God's name. Because you have the yeah. that their name have the top name. What's your name. argument? Because if you use the word God, yeah, he, the, Hebrews, uh, the if Hebrews... You, if you uh, you make think that's that point, if Allah is Jamid, Okay. <laughs> then... <laughs> okay. Yeah. God hey wate cannot be Jamin too. It's what? Cannot be what? Jamin. Do you know what Jamin means? Yeah? Is is original. Okay, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So that means Allah's so, name has always been Allah. It can't well, be. Well that's not what I mean. In grammar you've got Jamin and Mushtaq. Yeah, yeah Mushtaq is derived. derived. Yeah, and yeah, and, 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 and Jamin is that it's not derived. So what do you believe in? Jamin or Mushtaq? No, I don't have a belief on it. It's my my faith is not in faith you on this. Well, it's an interesting no, thing because no, whatever you have a God, it does because if, but it, it, this if doesn't Anna's, affect my theology, yeah, what I'm saying, I believe Anna's, God is one. Yeah, but if Anna's name is derived, then it means it can't be an eternal name, which is what people try and claim when they say Jamin. Well, this is it. If it's ja let's say, for example, it's uh, Jamin, yeah? yeah? That means that it was his name. But, but, well, that's what some Muslims will argue. Yeah, yeah, but I still don't understand because there will be Malaika, there will be Jinn using the name. Let's say you take them all out. Who will be saying this name? According to you. Take them out. Like, if no one is saying this name, it's, it's a strange argument. I don't really see the force of the argument. So, God's name is either Jamid or Mushtaq, yeah? derived or underived. And you said that if it's derived, it cannot be eternal. Yes. Is that what you're arguing? Yes. Okay, well, but because how does that affect your theology? Like, your belief? What's the... Well, no, like, it, no, like, would, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, it? it would say, because Muslim, obviously, some Muslims believe Allah speaks Arabic, that's the eternal language, that's the divine language, in heaven they speak Arabic. No, so no, but they, they say that the, Hebrew, the Torah was re uh, revealed in Hebrew, yeah, yeah. they did not have a problem with that. Uh, what was given to Jesus could have been given in Arabic. We don't have a problem with that. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. There's disagreement. God is not can. We can't restrict him only to one language. Well, I'm he knows. Is, he knows but that's all why, languages. But that's all what I'm knowledge. saying. This is this is within Islamic Muslim Muslim. I don't know. I don't know. I don't find that strong argument. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go to our next discussion. <laughs> okay. So the first one, first discussion. Yeah. First one. You you mentioned Yahya. That was the name Yahya. Yeah, yeah. The the second one was the name of God. But yes. you didn't explain like as in if right. it's so important to you the name, mm. then but you can't pronounce it. But that's irrelevant, and I'll tell you why. Because even if we can't pronounce it, so that's why I said if we know your name, even if we know your name with the consonant, with the vowel. You can't pronounce it. Yeah, I'm saying even if we knew your name with okay. the vowel. If you went to China. Okay. No one knows how to read, and they don't speak English. They don't know how to pronounce your name. Let's say you're the last person on earth called Hamza. Yeah. You go to China, yeah. they don't know English. They can't pronounce your name. It's still on paper when they show you with the consonant or not. But it's meaningless on paper if you can't pronounce it. it most people, yeah, no, but, it but most people were illiterate at those times. They couldn't even yes. read those letters. But again, it still it's still and that's why they use Hashem. Right. But because the, they couldn't, they forgot what the name was. But the point but, is, it's but, still but, but what I'm saying, if your argument it hinges on the, how important the name is there, yeah, then you put you, you shoot yourself in the foot because no, you don't know the name of God. Because we use Jehovah for an angle side. But what you're yes, trying to do, problem, yeah, no, but, but what you're trying but to paper do, paper is, you can't yeah, say. But what you're trying to like, do, uh, yeah, but let me oh, respond sorry. to that. What you're trying to do is focus on what well, if we don't know the pronunciation. And we're saying actually the pronunciation, because if we read the scripture, mm. the scripture doesn't have the vowel. So we know every time those letters are used, it represents God's name. 
So even if we lost them, we know how God communicated how but the, your argument is name. that you know his name. Right, so I'm you saying, don't know his I'm name. saying to you this. If do you, you get, do you get, you follow me? Yes. Your but, whole argument yeah, hinges on knowing I'll, a name. Yeah, but I'll explain to you. Not symbol. But I'll explain to you yeah. why it's important. If we have your name and it's we have the continents, huh? H, Z, H, M, Z, Z. Yeah. Now, if oh. I go to someone, what's your name? They could say Hamza, Himza, many variations. Yes. They can't, but what they can't say is Dave. Yes, okay. Dave does not fit into H, yes. M, Z. Okay. So I'm saying when we look in the Quran, for example, where Allah reveals his person name, Allah, he recalls the story of Moses. Yeah. He says, I revealed the name Allah. Yeah. Well, this is not true yeah. because he revealed a personal name. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying we're looking for evidence. Where is that but personal name does, revealed? But that's what I'm saying. You don't, the, it, right. as in you, you made another argument. But my point, if your argument hinges on yeah. this name, but yet you can't, most people couldn't read in the past, you know that, yeah? So symbols means nothing for them, even right. if it was a tetragammon. Yes. You don't know what the vowels are to the extent that who, the people who originated with that word no longer knew how to pronounce that right. name to the point they started using Hashem. Right, so my, but so this, but this would so, be the point. Who would know the name? God. God, yeah, but right. what good is it if, so, so if when, it's so important to you? Yeah, but I'm saying well, to you. That's what I'm saying, you're arguing for me. Yeah. Your argument is a very peculiar no, one. I'm, if I'm, you don't know the name no, of I'm, God. Yeah, but I'm clarifying. So if God reveals himself yeah. in a new scripture, yeah. because in the Old Testament. As name what? In the, in the Old Testament, we see the consonant of the Tetragrammaton. I, he refers to himself many, many times as this. Then we see a new revelation. But what's his new name? According to you, yeah. What's well, we'll just go stick with the Tetragrammaton for simplicity's sake. So what I'm saying is, if the new revelation, he says, I, Allah, so he starts referring to himself as the Tetragrammaton, and we don't see this anymore. Yeah. It means that God who had that knowledge But for you, build. for you, for you, you don't have a problem with using the word God. You use it's it multiple. Yeah, yeah, but we use it. That's what I'm saying. We can use, even in Arabic Christians can use Allah. Yeah, that's they fine. do. But we also know the personal name of God. That's the distinction. And well, you don't. That's why I said you don't. We know the tetragrammaton. It represents the personal name of God. But it represents, but right. most people at that time could not read. Yes. But so even if you have a symbol, it means nothing. And even if I'm you could saying. pronounce it, yeah, right. you don't know which vowels you'd be using. Like right. your name, Paperboy. If I took away the vowels, the right. A and the E, I could be saying Pepper Bell. Right. But that's the point. Instead of Paperboy. And then, you wouldn't accept that as your name. Yes. but Pepper Bell. But this is the point. Do you understand? When, if God's revealing the new scripture, and he doesn't even divulge the Tetragrammaton and he's recalling stories where he did reveal it but then the story has changed then we have to ask a logical question well actually this is not how the story happened because Moses knew you by a person. Let's go to name. the next, next uh, discussion. Okay, yeah. I'll just bring to my point yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we can go to the next Okay, so anyway, so you, you made these two arguments. Right. Right? So that's essentially yeah. my point. So, so right. the best shuru as well, well, my argument was that Allah, he named okay. him Yahya. And the more fascinating thing is also mentioned that you probably overlooked it it said okay. in the text as you read it okay. but I just find it's not a big thing so um, this Sorry. name was uniquely given by Allah to Yahya and he had not given it to any of the Anbiya before right Yahya and obviously my rebuttal to that no no but it was in the text yeah, that we my, call him yeah, but, but this one's this once it comes yeah but I'm just saying for everyone who's watching but because they can the go text you use the yeah, text you use it and, says we named him yeah but I'm saying they can go and read mm. the tafsir yeah. go to Al Jalalain Go to Ibn Kathir, yeah, yeah. go to Tabari. Yeah, and they say and the to same verify thing. what whether it's what I say, whether <laughs> they click and that's what I'm saying. We're gonna No but it had it or can you just right. pull it up there? Okay. Because look I'm not trying to pull the no. rug or wool over anyone's eyes, but the very tip say you had it says that Allah he named at the beginning of the sentence that Allah or he right. named him alone. So it's not it's not if or but it's there in the evidence that you put. Right. Yeah, so, so it says, look, 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 so it says, here, yeah, you, you want me to just read this. Yeah, but it says, we had that right, name that's to just, none before that's him. That's just reading the Quranic yeah. verse. No, it's not Quranic verse. Of course. It's, then they, no. then they go, okay, let me read it out. Read, yeah, read, 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 yeah, yeah, read it out. Or, or read, okay, I'll read it out. It says, we have given that name to none before him. Yes. Katada ibn yeah, these are names of and Mufassiri. ibn Said said, this means, what does means mean? It means the interpretation yeah. of this, what yeah. we just said, yeah. that no one yeah. 
has had this name before him. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. But so the beginning of the sentence, we have given that name to none before right. him. But then it says, who's we? Who's right. we? But then when it when you, yes, okay, it forget means that. Allah. Yeah. But then when course. it says this means, it, 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 then, you know, that, you, you that, know, it's explaining the obvious already. No, <laughs> no you, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It's very clear. It, when they say it means, I, I don't know. I think it's a silly argument. Honestly, yeah. I think it's a yeah, silly argument. It's very argument. clear because it, that's why both. It says we have yeah, given. Who's we? You said Allah. So Allah has given that name to none before him. Right, but that's what I'm saying. They clarify what the meaning is. Yes. So if I, if you said to me, you said to me, it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah. And I say yes. This means. Then the okay. Up, Do you agree? Means. It means here mm. this first beginning of the sentence that Allah has named none before him, Yahya. Like it says there, we have given that name to none before him. Do you understand what that in itself means or do you need that segment to explain that? Yes, because that's why they say this means. <laughs> They're giving an example of what uh, it means. No, you're not but serious. anyway, that's people can go and look at, okay. look at the tafsir. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Can right. you show it to the camera? Yeah, yeah, we'll put the reference on. It's very clear. <laughs> no, no, no. Show, 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 show this <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, show, yeah. Show, I don't no, want people to... can go and read Ibn no, Let me show it. Yeah, yeah, Ibn yeah, so the whole argument I made and made clarification is that Allah says that He had not given. It says in Arabic, "Lam najallahu min qablu samiyan," that we had not given to Him right. before. The that why? Because you could actually go and look at something. Like, and it even, says in English, even if you got, "We what? have given that name to Him before right. Him." But the problem is, you can if you could go on the internet, go to all the Islamic websites. They'll say what I'm uh, saying, uh, and they'll say. Yeah. This, uh, it, it, but it says it there, though. No, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, I don't. I, I think the people uh, yeah even though if anyone wants to look, go to even islamic awareness yeah. they try and give a breakdown they what do, is they there don't in agree. They I, don't, I don't know what your argument is no, but i'm saying yeah. islamic awareness doesn't agree with you. Anyway, anyway. okay okay listen so let's go let's go to my discussion